Hi guys, Frostfangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to uh, the Paladins video when we're playing some Victor today, Chase Victor to be specific and also a need sort of spam setup at the same time. This is actually a free unlock on the pass at level 18, so you get it whether you bought it or not. It's actually looking pretty good here in the menus, but I haven't played with it just yet for the build, which is going to be a secondary part to the video because I've covered it before, even though it was ages ago and I do need to revisit Victor, but I want to focus on the skin and just identify this as a background where we're going to be running around throwing the Nader Tom with Grenadier 5 and Guerrilla Warfare 5, just, yeah, really spamming the Nader. The other two work great as well. I actually use all three of these, saying that though I don't find myself grabbing Victor all that often just because he isn't that unique, although that's kind of his whole unique element is that he is kind of meant to be the standard sort of, you know, shooter grenade character, similar thing with Octavia, really I don't grab her for the same reason, similar sort of thing with Vivian as well, but it's not that they're bad characters, I actually like all three of them quite a bit, I just don't grab them because there's never a situation where I specifically think to go for those characters, so we've got Onslaught Primal Court for game one, we've got a Grok, an Io, an Ando, and an Octavia, we're up against an Anjo, a Tyra, an Atlas, a Vatu, and another Grok. So we'll go ahead and grab Shrapnel, and then the nade setup here is a look at the weapon, I'm actually really quite impressed with this already, just from quickly taking a look at it because I feel like it fills the slot of like a techie victor skin because we don't really have one of those at the moment we'll go for Kronos and Nibble because we're also going to be running around with the Nade, a Maelstrom Asymmetric, Lifelink Aegis, the Atlas Q kind of counters us but Deja Vu, Omnipresence, Maelstrom, Mercy Kill and then Curse of All. we'll throw the Nade, that's a bunch of damage, okay as far as I can tell though the Nade does look pretty much the same maybe a slightly different effect, might as well be Victor's normal Nade though to be honest that's another pretty good hit, there goes the Atlas, I actually really like the weapon for this, the Nade I couldn't really care less about and obviously the sprint animation is pretty standard but the actual gun which is probably the the main part you're getting a skin for victor looks fantastic we'll throw the nade in there again we'll grab some more chronos as we run around i'm really not going to be focusing on gameplay too much and i think about it, it might actually have a slight gameplay advantage because it does actually make it a little bit easier to see where i'm firing there's some i guess alts on the vatu we'll let the nade throw it down there it does look a little bit different but yeah very very slightly that andro there's some shots we'll let the nade throw that there throw another one i'd actually drop that is that going to get me the kill no finish off our chronos i am just genuinely running around here throwing out my nade as much as humanly possible i actually missed that one there we'll go for the ult just as the grok ult ends and spam it there on the point that's a free double we got rid of the Vatu too, too see if we can get rid of the Tyra she actually got rid of the Grok there we'll see if we can get a lucky bounce with an aid maybe throw the nade again that's a hit on to the Tyra hello Andrew's probably the only person causing me trouble at the moment we'll throw that bounce it off there there's another one this is such a cheesy setup for this map but it's working I think you can be pretty damn bad and still end up doing really well with this I think it's kind of the whole point of Victor to be honest we've got some pretty juicy nades I'm expecting to maybe run around but I guess not we'll throw another one just there for it and then throw it again kind of cheesy with Chronos Max that you just have to hit one person pretty much to get the full nade reset I'm dead we did get rid of two or well, kind of three of them if Andrew gets cleared here too I think the Octavia's on him finished off our nimble got a bit of morale boost I'm really not relying on the weapon at all I'm just running around throwing the nade because if we hit one person we get the reset and even if we don't running around with the F resets it in like a second you know or two you know there goes the Vatu nearly maybe we'll get him with a nade oh my god I actually tapped him with it but didn't hit it put up the nade throw it there for the Tyra you kind of want to focus the people who can't really run away because it just makes it a lot easier there we go she is gone we'll go for the ult don't know why I'm playing so goddamn messy today with Victor but we'll throw the nade there thank you for the free one we'll throw it down there towards the Nando we used the F to get a little bit of regen, finish off the Atlas, he did use the teleport already, and what I was trying to do with that one, I altered some shots over there, we'll throw the nade and just dip behind cover a little bit, run across, sure, we'll throw the nade on the Andro, I'm dead here I think any second, I don't know what I'm doing with my moves, but yeah, we're gone, I'm playing really really weird, throw the nade there towards the middle, again we'll throw another one, I don't think I'd say it's my favourite Victor skin, but it is solid, it's a 7.5 quite easily, I feel like I've said that a lot with the skins in the genlock update, they'll pass, whatever, we'll throw the ultimate over there, just blast as many of them as we can, I did get a connect there but for some reason it didn't go off get rid of the vatu if we can this game's actually pretty close didn't finish him off we'll open the nade throw it then and my grok all got rid of him 381 to 386 this could actually go either way we're bang on even atlas with the ult not atlas fernando will throw a nade there that's the octavia ult cleaning up and there we go there is the victory i feel like the stats do show off pretty well how bad i was doing there 15 10 80k is you know pretty rough there tyra did beat us out and we were running around trying to spam the nade a ton i could have done way better there my team did a solid job we won it by just about i think 10 or 20 points came right down to the wire there andrew definitely did the best on their side all right well weirdly enough for game two we've got on sort of primal court we've got a vora we've got a dredge a grok and a zin and we're up against a, another vora a grover a charlotte and a vivian and a zin go for chronos we're still going to spam the nade although i went for the setup that doesn't have the reset on the f because i don't feel like you really need it on this sort of map because it's really easy to just get that free reset especially if we're going for chronos and not quarter eyes getting the nade reset on the f is kind of nice but most of the time you don't need it if you're on a map where you can pretty consistently hit people with your nade it really does depend but i think in a situation like this where we've got shrapnel it's just so easy to get that reset by hitting one or two people and we're going for chronos so i don't feel like i really need it don't know what's going on with my mouse i feel like sometimes my aim snaps really weirdly i'm probably dead to 
We have the Vora, go for the ult, hit the Vivian. She doesn't really have an escape, so she should be. They're gone out, maybe we can get the Zin too. We'll just deactivate it and throw the nade, probably a better idea. He's dead, the whole team on their side is. Finished off our Kronos, which actually works out fantastically because now hitting one person pretty much fully resets the nade. That Vivian is on no health. I ran out of ammo and she ran around the corner. Maybe we can chase with like the nade, throw it on left side, push around maybe, push on the Vivian. There we go, get some shots on her. I don't feel like I really need to scope in, but we'll throw the nade and run. For some reason, my F is like really delayed today. I feel like I have to hit it like two or three times. I think it's the servers, but I have to hit it like two or three times before it works sometimes, and that really sucks. Vivian's just here, get some shots on her. There we go. But you stared her down and managed to win the fight. Hello, Zin. There's some hits for you too. He's gone. Pop the ult, see if we can get somebody with it. We'll get rid of the Vora. Did waste a charge on the Vora for no reason, but we did kill her, so whatever. We'll throw double nade just there. That girl's not looking too good. Shots on the Shaolin. He's probably the person causing me the most trouble. We'll throw a nade for the Vivian. Throw another one. I wish you could get life still on the nade somehow. That would be great. Really is quite weird though. Sometimes I hit the F, he starts the run and then just like straight away stops it. Feels really strange. We'll throw another one just there for the Zin. Okay, Judge got rid of him. I was just trying to chase him around the right side. Can't believe that nade throw was so bad, but we can get rid of the Grover. Nope, he's still up. I think I'm dead to Shaolin. Fair enough with that freaking combo. We'll grab some more Haven and get morale boost. Sure, I'm not going to grab Cordyceps. Eyes. That's kind of the point of the video. <laughs> let up the nade, throw it down there on the bottom. We'll load up another one, throw it on the Zin there again. Run over left side. We'll load up the nade, throw it just there. Get a freaking huge hit with it. We'll throw another one. That should get something. Don't know what the hell that bounce was, but finish off the Vivian if we can. My god, that's just going to get me killed, isn't it? Maybe not. Do a little jump. Hello, Vora. You're just here killing the dredge without an animation, and I'm dead to Grover. That was really weird. <laughs> gonna go for the ult. Drop down here, see if we can finish him off. That's in with the ult. We just saved our dredge, or not dredge, Grok. We did hit somebody there with an egg. We'll throw another one over towards the spawn. Pop the ult here right in the middle. Get rid of the Vivian. Sure, I wasted a charge there again. Threw one on the Grover for no reason. This game is sadly over. It's 290 to 385 here. It's, yeah, definitely gone. We're 100 behind, and they're right at the end. There's no way we're gonna recover it, and especially with my plays like that. That's four going for the ult, but sadly, I think it is over here. 290 to 400. There is the defeat they were definitely the better team i think i actually played better in that one than i did in game one but my stat might actually be worse this video has been a bit weird it doesn't feel like it's been one of my weirder videos but for whatever reason sat here playing nade victor with a new skin has felt odd i think i'm going to put it down to the new victor plus getting on sort primal court back to back because it is quite a claustrophobic map and playing nade victor twice on it has made me really feel like i've just been running around repeatedly trying to nade people but 9780k quite happy with that we did very similar to game one but in this situation it's actually quite a bit better than it was in the first one shouts to therefore also in the chat and forgot to mention it but i would love to see shrapnel have something other than just getting extra explosion radius on the nade i'd love for it to somehow give like item effects like maybe 50 percent effectiveness or something like that like if you bought life rip 3 it would give 15 percent to your nade instead of 30 percent. i think that would be kind of cool though probably unnecessary because already this is fine and i don't think victor necessarily needs buffs at the moment but the skin is pretty solid seven and a half similar to what i've said for the other genlock skins it's definitely in the middle i think out of the set it's not my favorite it's also not my least favorite one it's pretty good but for victor it's not really too much space to make cool stuff happen i guess of course thank you for watching though leave a like if you enjoyed of course let me know what you want to see me the next i'll see you guys all really really soon and as always stay frosty